never seen that many rainbow trout in one area do this in my entire life, and it was just incredible to witness this. It has been one year since my last stocked rainbow trout adventure. Myself and Tyler from the Big Fish Energy fished a little quarry that was absolutely loaded with stocked rainbow trout. There was fish jumping clear out of the water across the entire pond. There's fish all over the place. We put the drones up, you can see thousands of fish. There's fish jumping behind me. You can probably see them in the shot. It's gonna be a pretty epic morning. Thousands of fish going after your lure at the same time. It's probably one of my bigger ones today, dude. The amount of fish in this tiny body of water was unimaginable. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. This was my most insane stocked rainbow trout experience until about a few weeks ago. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Just look at that, man. Such a gorgeous looking fish. Tyler and I decided to head to a lake in the Lanark Highlands that we knew some fish were stocked into. I got some intel that these fish were being caught on flies. So today we had a plan of only fly fishing. And little did I know that this was going to be the most insane fly fishing for rainbow trout I've ever experienced. Good morning everybody, Tough Country back at it again with another video. As you can see, Tyler's in the background here and we're fishing a brand new lake in the Lanark Highlands to try to catch some rainbow trout. We're primarily gonna be fly fishing and we're gonna play it by ear, throwing full sinking lines, little streamers, try to catch some rainbows. So let's get on the water. Hopefully we can hook into some nice fish. Yeah, we have YouTube channels. Yeah? Yeah. yeah right? Alrighty guys, we're all rigged up. I'm just gonna talk about the rod I'm using. I got a five weight Orvis Encounter rod here with a Mid Arbor Reel by Orvis paired up with it. And that on there is a five weight intermediate line. And for my leader, I got a 10 pound tapered leader on there, which is probably equivalent to two or three X. And for flies, I'm doing a two fly rig. I got this weighted streamer here. A little bead head, black and blue with a bit of sparkle on there. And then about 18 inches down from there, there's this fly, I think it's called a booby. It kind of suspends itself above the weighted fly. It's got these foam head on there to keep it uh, up a bit. And it's the same color. It's black and blue with a bit of sparkle in there. And uh, my boss was here last week. He told me those are the two flies that crushed it. So we're gonna get on the water and hopefully we get some rainbows. We got all our gear set up, launched our kayaks into the lake, and we headed out to the far side of the lake to try to catch some fish. It wasn't long before Tyler hooked into a fish. Took me a little bit of time to get it figured out. You think that even with that second fly though, they'd still eat the other one. Right. Oh, there's oh speak of the devil. Dang, dude, I just missed one. There, oh my god! Why? Oh, I can see him still. But once I got dialed in, it was fish after fish. And these fish weren't small. There's one. Feels like a good fish, folks. Got him. He ate the floating fly. Oh, that's fun, dude. Jeez Louise. I can kind of rip him in because, you know, I'm using 10 pound leader. Oh, dude, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Holy, that's a nice fish. They were much bigger than anything we caught last year in the small pond. That's pretty incredible. Holy smokes. He, and you're right, he just destroyed it. These were nice rainbow trout. And let's take a look at them. And they fought hard. Holy smokes, dude, they never got shoulders here. Look at that rainbow, folks. Gorgeous rainbow trout right there. Beauty fish. On a fly. Can't beat it. We're gonna dispatch this fish. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He hammered that. Holy smokes, man. That fish destroyed that fly. Oh. Yeah, that might be bigger. That might be a tad bigger. Fly pops right out. We're fishing barbless flies, so yeah, it's a bit smaller. But look at that. Unreal, man. On a fly in a tiny lake in the Lanark Highlands. That's just crazy. Second fish for me. Gorgeous rainbow. I'm just gonna let him go. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Dude, this fly is gonna be non existent at the end of the day. There we go. Second cast. Just released that fish a second ago. That's just crazy, man. And what fly did it eat? It ate the floating fly again, dude. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a gorgeous rainbow. Oh, did you see that jump? I don't think the camera's got it, but oh my goodness. That is just incredible. I got a 10 pound leader on, so I can kind of horse these fish in a bit and they don't seem to mind. The heavy leader. And man, this fish is strong, dude. Whew, that's a big fish. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a gorgeous rainbow. Oh God. Oh, in the basket. Unreal. This is just incredible. This is truly incredible, man. And they're all just so thick. Just chill and we'll get the fly out. Oh my God. Dude, this fish has a hook in its mouth. So my fly is out. And now I'm gonna get this other hook out. Let's give him a rest. I don't know where that hook went. I don't see it. All right, let's take a look at the fish quick. Ooh, if I can hold him. There he is. I think that hook that was in him is out. Gorgeous. There we go. Well, I had to switch up my whole rig. I got snagged when I was dealing with a fish. I'm snagged. No. Oh, broke it. Son of a nutcracker. And I broke off. And I don't have any more of those dark flies that I was using. So I switched up to some brighter stuff. Seems to be working. This time it hit the front fly. It didn't eat the floating one. It ate the, uh, a little weighted woolly bugger at the front. It's orange and white, this one. I was curious if these brighter, these brighter colors would work or not. And now we know. Sure freaking does. Oh, flies out. Barbless hooks, man. They just pop right out. Check that out. Gorgeous, solid rainbow trout. Beauty. Ooh, that's some cold water, man. That's the updated floating fly. It's yellow, gold, bit of sparkle. Nothing on that yet, but I'm sure it's gonna get bit. And that's the fly the fish ate. It's white with an orange tail, orange head, little woolly bugger. That fish wanted it. Wonder how Bytown's doing. There's one. That's a freaking trout. Ooh, Jesus. I haven't had a fish do that yet. Could be a big one. Oh my God, he's just giving me the gears, man. Now, because he's on that floating fly, I can't horse him in as much because I put uh, the line connecting from the weighted streamer to the floating fly is only four pound. 
which is probably 4x. Oh my god. This fish is really fighting big, man. He's fighting real big. Big head shakes. Dogging down. Still haven't got a good look at him. This fish doesn't give up, dude. Oh my god, it's big. Yeah, that's the biggest one I've caught. But yeah, that's the biggest one I've caught, I think. Oh my god, it's so big. It's so... Oh, holy... Dude. That's easily the biggest I think I've caught. That is just a big, big rainbow, man. Totally clobbered that fly, too. Holy smokes. There you go. Flies out. Let's take a look, folks. Oh, my God. Look at the shoulders on this thing. Like, you can't even get your hand around it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous rainbow, man. That's a nice fish. And she's gone. I'm going to go see Mr. Bytown. Chat it up for a minute. Have a Timbit. I keep saying Bytown. His name's Tyler. His name's Tyler. His YouTube channel is The Big Fish Energy. It used to be Bytown Bass, and I keep calling him Bytown. But his name's Tyler. How many fish have you hit? I'm uh, four. Okay, I'm at five now. <laughs> there was nothing. I didn't get onto anything down there, so I just came back here because I was having really good luck in this time. Dude, from here all the way to that corner is just fish everywhere. Loaded, eh? I'm using two light colored flies now. Okay. A white with orange yeah. and then a yellow and like goldish. Okay. And they've both flies have been hits now. Sick, yeah, so I don't I'm not sure if color really matters a whole lot. This is fun. Like you said, man, at this point, I wouldn't even care to catch any more fish. Oh, oh, that was a hit, man. Oh, he hammered that. Jeez. That fish must have been like a foot beneath the surface. There he is. Whoo. Feels like a decent one, dude. They're all decent. That's a good fish, dude. Oh, he's thick, man. Come on, come on, baby. Oh my God, unreal. Holy smokes, dude. Absolutely beautiful rainbows, man. Gorgeous. Look at the color. Oh. There we go. Got the drone up. Another good one, man. Come on, fish, get in the net. Oh, another good one, man. Oh my God. There it is. Barbless is so perfect. There's another fish, man. Got the drone in the air. Another good one. Beauty. That's unreal. This one looks like it hit the, uh, yeah, this one hit the weighted fly. The fly in the front. Not the floating guy. The booby, as some would call it. Another gorgeous, oh my God. These fish are just so big, so beautiful. My goodness, flies out. Quick and easy, man. And we'll let this fish go to live another day. Come on, buddy. Chill. Ah. Well, this has been a pretty awesome day of fly fishing, to say the least. I'm probably getting close to 10 quality rainbow trout landed. I've kept two, and uh, this dual fly rig that I've been using from the beginning is doing the trick. I started off with darker flies with a bit of flash and now I'm using bright flies that are a lot flashier. They're getting hit just as much and I'm having a blast out here. It's 
hard to beat fly fishing in a little lake like this in the Lion Arc Highlands, catching big rainbow trout. It's an awesome day. Tyler's doing well over there as well. We're having a great time out here. We're gonna keep fishing. We're probably fishing another hour and a half or so, and then we're getting out of here. So we're gonna see if we can get some more fish. This crazy action went on for the entire day, and we had such a blast catching a ton of rainbow trout, nice rainbow trout on fly. That's a nice fish. This corner is so loaded with them, it's ridiculous. Another beauty fish. Another gorgeous rainbow, man. Every fish has been like a quality. Jeez Louise, man. There's so many fish over here. It's just non-stop. This might be a bigger one, man. It's dogging down. Holy smokes. Yeah, this one might have some shoulders. This fish might have some shoulders, man. Take me out into the lake. Oh my God. Did my rod just snap? Well, I definitely can't lose this fish. I'm screwed. What the frick? Oh my God. Oh. What the heck, man? <laughs> That's just crazy. Booby in the side of the face. Wasn't even a big fish. Just a smaller fish, had a lot of energy. Beauty. This is a beautiful little lake tucked into some hills in the Lanark Highlands and it just had some of the best fly fishing for rainbow trout in this area that I've ever experienced. Tyler was fishing around the entire lake trying to find fish. He was kind of struggling fishing the other sections of the lake. So he came over with me, he started casting, he hooked a fish, the fish broke off. Oh, was that a fish? Did it break you off? So I said, hey man, take my rod, catch a couple, I'll film you. Here we go. Hey, no worries, go get them. Ryan saving the day here. I just broke off and we're going to be ending soon. So he's just lending me his rod real quick. Go get him, go get him, buddy. Go get him on the drone. And sure enough, he hooked into a few fish, a few nice fish, and that was the perfect way to end the afternoon. This spot was like none other. So many nice rainbow trout, beautiful fish, and they were hitting flies. That's something you don't really experience a ton around here, especially for trout. There's not a ton of fly fishing opportunity in this area. So to be able to do what we did here today was absolutely amazing. And we just had an absolute amazing time out here. Caught so many gorgeous fish and just had an awesome time on the water. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this epic rainbow trout adventure. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. If you didn't subscribe to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every Sunday. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.